All right, so I'm gonna start my rant now. Now, what are the updates on GME and AMC? Now, again, now that the numbers came out, the actual numbers, it's been showing that these stocks have been manipulated and shorted like crazy. And they're being allowed to do that, um, especially with the new administration there. And like I said, I don't like being political in any means, but this new administration is corrupt up the butt. And it's really annoying and frustrating. And um, when you see what um, Melvin Capital and these other hedge funds that are part of this are doing, they're shorting a lot of stocks. They're messing with a lot of the stocks. So um, you see they're investing in like messing with NEO, with Churchill Capital, a lot of these potential hype stocks, they're manipulating them like crazy. So that's why you see them fluctuating. So I'm, I'm saying, guys, be careful. Um, it looks like it looks like a losing war here because they just have so much power. You know, these these companies are just too powerful. They have the White House in their hands, and like I said, this new administration is just so so corrupt. Um, everybody there is either owned by Wall Street or is part of Wall Street. And it's really frustrating to see this because, I mean, you know, we were having people were staying united and holding the shares and, you know, it's still going to eventually go up more AMC than GameStop. But like I said, it's looking like a losing battle because they're just we thought the SEC was going to help. You know, we thought that the White House was going to do some type of help when Yellen went to go talk to the brokers and stuff like that. But no, she actually supported them. She helped them. And now the SEC is investigating um, uh, Wall Street Bets, which is stupid because they're the ones who shorted the stock in the first place more than it was supposed to be shorted. And they're not doing anything to them. So it's showing that they're protecting them. They can do whatever they want. They're still shorting the stock, so that's why you see AMC jump them back down because the stock is being manipulated. It's still being shorted, and they're allowed to do that. Um, so this is what got them there in the first place, and the media, the mainstream media, which is like CNN, CNBC, um, all these are protecting them. They're talking bad about the people that are investing in the stock that they believe in, and they're protecting the hedge funds from losing more money. And that shows you guys that you guys, I mean, like I said, I don't like being political, but don't follow politics, as I say. Do your own investments and you do your own trading. Don't follow politics in motion, you know? And for me, I've been successful in the stock market because I don't, I'm not a really political person. I'm more of a person that, you know, fends for himself. No, no president or no political party is going to make me wealthy. And I've learned that myself. I make my own money. And that's what you guys need to kind of have that in your head as well. Stop following hypes. You know, just stop doing all these trendy things because it's not going to help you succeed. Um, and now that we're seeing there's more than these stocks being shorted and being manipulated. Like I said, there was Neo being manipulated. It's still being manipulated. Churchill Capital. There's... You know, a lot of these stocks that are being manipulated like crazy so hedge funds can make money. And these hedge funds make billions of dollars a year, okay? It's not millions, it's not hundreds of thousands, it's billions. And how do they make those billions of dollars? Because they take it away from the people. So people who invest and end up losing money, that's where they make their money. They make the money out of you, you know? So that's what I'm saying. You need to be a little bit more intelligent when you invest because these companies are gonna completely abuse you. Um, they try to pick on people that don't know anything about the market, that panic sell, and when that happens, that's when they make their money. They bump up the stocks like crazy because they know people buy into it and then they'll jump right out. And that's where they'll make their money. And they keep doing that manipulation and it happens constantly. If you look at the history, a lot of companies, you know, have done this. A lot of hedge funds have done this. They go in the news and they say something so the, the stock can be manipulated or people can fear it. And then something happens and then they actively make money out of that. So if you see during the pandemic, a lot of people lost jobs, lost money. But what happened with these hedge funds? What happened with these people? These wealthy people in Wall Street, they made billions of dollars. 
okay? So you guys lost money, we lost money, and they made billions, okay? And that's how they work. They, it's, it's a corrupt system. Wall Street is very corrupt. And again, you know, that's what I've kind of been noticing that I just, my videos don't get money after I monetized it because um, YouTube always keeps sending me things that I shouldn't be talking about these things. But I mean, this is not why I made the channel my channel. I made it so I can give you the information. So I don't care about being monetized or none of that stuff. So just have that in mind. Um, I'm here to give you guys information and help you guys succeed in the market and give you knowledge to succeed. Okay? That's just one thing I want to throw out there. But like I said, these corporations are fully, fully corrupt. Like I said, it's a hard battle to win because now the things that we're seeing is that the White House, again, is so, so damn corrupt. Okay? I, I don't care if you like or hate Joe Biden and his administration, I, I don't care. The thing is that the facts are there and the only way you can succeed in the market is by knowing the facts. And these facts are showing that this is what's going on. Um, it's clear out there in the, there in the day, um, Yellen, the Secretary of Treasury, like I said, we thought she was gonna be helpful to the little guy, but she was helpful to those people that are giving her the money. So that's, that's crazy stuff, you know? And a lot of the stocks, I mean, I'm not just saying like these stocks that I mentioned, I'm saying most of the whole stock market is being abused like this. And all of this is illegal and they're getting away with it. So that shows you that these, how powerful these people are. And, you know, I'm not saying to jump out of GameStop or AMC. I'm still keeping them. Um, I'm not giving you financial advice. So if you want to jump out, feel free to jump out, but I'm still keeping AMC. I, I know it's being manipulated and eventually it's going to come back up in my thought. So um, I'm just gonna wait it out. I don't panic as easily. So that's why I've been actually very profitable in the stock market. I've seen stocks go from like $10 to $2 to back to $20 and stuff like that. So um, I've waited things out. I just wait till I can make my profit. So um, that's just something to have in mind. Uh, if you guys are gonna sell, then go for it. It is become, people are starting to panic sell because they know that they can't wait it out. They're panicking. They overput money that they didn't have, and that's a big one. It's a lot. That that's it. That is a big one. A lot of people put money they didn't have because they thought they were going to become rich really quickly or make thousands of dollars in a day, and they put in their life savings. They put in something. So I understand that people have to get out. Um, but for me, like I said, I'm just going to keep it. We all knew this was going to happen. So if you see a lot of people that were actually doing this kind of research, people knew that AMC was going to be shorted again today, which is illegal again, and they're doing it. You know. They're, they're manipulating the stock, more to say. And, yeah, it's insane. It's just really insane. And they're going to wait this out so they can make their money back or they can lose the least amount of possible. But just be careful when you're investing, like I said. Um, one thing I do want to say is that I will be talking in my next video about a market crash, which it looks most likely that it is going to happen due to all this craziness and what people are finding out that Wall Street is doing and how they're being protected. Um, these hedge funds. So I'll be talking about that video. Um, I think it's going to be good. So check that out. That's going to be a very pretty much informative video and tell you kind of the background of what is happening that is going to create a stock market crash most likely. So don't be too scared because when a market crash happens, that's where we make money. And I'll be talking about that too. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you guys did like the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions about all this, um, if I miss things, you know, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll talk about it. Um, if you guys have any thoughts on it, just put comments as well. Again, help me hit 5,000 subscribers, guys. Once that happens too, I'll also be giving away more free stocks. Um, so people tell me, how am I gonna do that? I'm gonna give them in a way of gift cards. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next time.